Hi and welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Textbox version 2. First of all, Textbox version 2 is compatible with all types of text, horizontal, vertical and paragraph text. And if you apply Textbox 2, this is what it looks like at the default settings. And in this video tutorial, we'll go through all the features top to bottom and then we'll do a practical example. So the shape modes, again, we have auto and square. Square will simply take the largest axis and scale up the smaller axis to be the same size. And we have a new feature here called polygon mode. And this is, you can choose the number of sides you want. Great for drawing hexagons or pentagons, whatever gons you want, up to 50 gons, uh, which are kind of just like an inefficient way of drawing a circle, I suppose. Great thing about uh, polygon mode is roundness also works with that. So you can have rounded corners, it creates some cool shapes. And again, if you really want, you can create some funky looking circles. If you have a really rounded triangle, that's what it looks like, kind of like an egg. Something we've improved in Textbox 2 is the expansion can now be negative, which is super handy. Uh, that's useful for adding transitions or just customizing the expansion exactly as you want it. And I'm pleased to say we now have total control over expansion size. So for example, this was your company logo here and you wanted the little icon, you can just expand it left and make room for it there. Whereas we also have the traditional methods of expansion on width expansion on height and all the other ones and these again these all work in negative as well I'll just reset that expansion there and opacity opacity is pretty straightforward that's the opacity of the box itself color we can change the color of the box and the roundness we also now have a new feature called individual roundness and this allows you to just say if you want to create a chat bubble I can just remove the rounding on the bottom right and there we have it now we have the gradient options, we can enable them here and this will overwrite the fill color. We have two types, linear and radial, and we have the start and end colors which we can swap here. And uh, you can fine tune the X and Y positions of each or you can use the preset. So currently we're using the horizontal preset but we can also use vertical. You don't have to transition between colors, you can transition between opacities. So if we set them both colors to white, we could then have the opacity fade in. And the other option we have is radial. And radial brings with it a, another option here called smoothness. So that can go from zero to 100 smoothness. Next up, we have the border tab here. So let's enable the border and we can see that's gonna add a small white border. We can change the stroke width and the expansion of that will mimic the expansion that you have set in the expansion tab. However, the border options have their own expansion which you can change here so we can expand that to be greater or smaller than the fill we could solo the border if we want we can place the border over the text which is useful in certain situations which we'll go into later on you can inherit the fill color if you like that's just a convenience function and we also have dash options here so we can enable a dash change the length we can choose the amount of gap we want in between each and we can also offset we also have the typical after effects cap styles of butt or round. And we also have an additional tab called draw individual sides. I'll just remove the dash for now and also the roundness to demonstrate this. This is useful if you say want to just have an underline to your text and maybe we don't want the expansion. That's gonna look better. And then that's gonna update with your text. You can increase the width of that to make as big or small underline you want. Another useful application for this is just say you want just the sides to be drawn, then you can add some roundness to that and that'll sort of make it look like you've got some brackets. If Let's just decrease the stroke width here, make the fill color black and increase the expansion. We can go from less round to completely round. Now let's take a look at the transform tab. Transform tab here transforms the box independently of the text. So if you want to move the text, you can move the layer. If you want to move the box by itself, you can use this tab here and we can transition these in. So for example, I might want it to come in from the side, add a keyframe, set that there. And then if we play it back, if we want some motion blur, we can have that by enabling the switch on the layer and the comp itself. Then in the comp settings, you can choose how much motion blur you want. I think the default is 180 and the shutter phase negative 90. Uh, if you want zero motion blur, you can set that to zero. If you want too much, you can set it to 720. But I like to keep it at 180 and negative 90 for most situations. 
some of the transform features we have, uh, such as rotation, scale, and skew, all are set off the anchor point here, which defaults to the middle, the middle of the width and height. It does not take into account the anchor point that you have. It's got its own anchor point based off here, which you can customize. Uh, scale, I would not recommend cranking much above 100 because this is simply taking the layer and upresing it. If you want to draw the layer larger, I would use the expansion and then it will always be perfect resolution. Transform is a great way to do transitions, especially pairing them with the matting options. We can mat the text to the fill so that can bring on the text. You can also subtract text from the fill and you can subtract the border from the fill. So if we had a border here and the border was smaller than the fill, I'll just increase the expansion a bit. You can now subtract both the text and the border from the fill. Textbooks version 2 is compatible with 3D text, however, unfortunately, due to some technical limitations, we weren't able to get it to work with 3D transforms such as Z position and uh, Z rotation, sorry, X and Y rotation. Um, something we have worked hard on is the Z rotation, which works perfectly. If we compare that to the old version of Textbox, we can see that that was not working. So we've made sure that that's working perfectly in this version. Um, that's actually the reason that Textbox version 2 is not compatible with any After Effects previous to 2018, because that was a new feature introduced then. Now we'll do a quick exercise to show off some of the features of Textbox and how they can be used. So let's add Textbox 2 to this text here, and I want a rounded hexagon. So I'm going to set the number of sides to 6, add a bit of roundness here. I actually want the fill color to be black, but the border to be purple, so that it looks like we only have a border. And then I'll increase the stroke width a little bit here, and increase the expansion. And to transition this in, what we'll do is we'll take the expansion uniform and set it to where it looks like it's pretty much disappeared, and then that's how the border transitions in. What we can then do is mat the text to that fill, although that looks a little bit strange. So what we can do is under the border options, we can place the border over the text. And then to transition the text in, what we can do is take advantage of the Z position. So we'll set a keyframe here and scale that right up. And then We'll just add a little bit of ease and whiz to that. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. So that's looking good. Now for the second beat, we're going to transition it out. And to do that, I'm going to add a little bit of rotation. So let's make it rotate 90 degrees. And then to transition out the text, what we'll do is we'll increase the expansion of this border a lot. And also the thickness, the stroke width until that we fill the entire screen. And to make a transition out, I'm just going to transition the border color from purple to black. I'll just turn off these brand colors here. Now the color itself, we'll just do a sign. And then for the expansion and the stroke width, we'll do expo. And sign is a bit gradual, so I'm going to use quart. Make it a bit more intense. And there is the result that we get. So that's pretty nifty and that wasn't too hard to do. Another technique that's super easy and um, adds a lot of life to text is just adding a bit of tracking. So I'm just gonna set the tracking amount to time and that's gonna be a bit too much, but just for demonstration purposes, you can see that that's adding some life to the text and didn't really cost us much. And thanks to Textbox, it's gonna update perfectly. So that's it. Thanks for checking out the tutorial and I hope you enjoy using the product. If you have any suggestions, let us know and make sure you check out PluginEverything.com for other cool plugins as well as some free stuff and some tutorials.